Well, the BRICS today represent a dynamic force for the world economy. They've me been meeting at summit level for five years now, so this is the fifth in a round of summits. It matters for Brazil because Brazil is a very engaged uh, country in ensuring that we transition into a multipolarity of cooperation. So we engage. What does that mean? That to means, an ordinary viewer, what does that mean? I mean, well, why, does it, means, why does it matter, BRICS? It's such, a, it's such an arbitrary grouping in many ways. It started out as an analytical concept, mm -hmm. and it became a political reality. So we've gone from acronym to an influential, powerful player in international affairs. There is a sense, perhaps by some observers, that this is, this is growing increasingly to being an anti-Western bloc. I think that's essentially a misperception. Uh, in the case of Brazil, we are strategic partners to the European Union. The United States is the number one foreign investor in Brazil. We have very strong uh, relations with uh, the U.S. Uh, across a whole range of issues. And we wish to uh, maintain these relationships. But I think it's very important also for the BRICS to engage as a group because they help to balance out the uh, perceptions and to um, improve global governance. President Assad in Syria sent one of his emissaries, essentially, to President Zuma, bringing a message to be given to the BRICS heads of state. Is this, is this grouping essentially becoming more political, and is that the ambition? Well, the agenda is broadening. Uh, it started out essentially as a group that coordinated on economic and financial issues. Uh, you will recall that the G8 used to invite the emergent economies essentially to have a cup of coffee at the end of their summits. And well, with the um, emergence of BRICS, well, uh, one of the effects was that the G8 transitioned to the G20. But from a foreign policy perspective, it must be interesting finding yourself perhaps lumped with countries such as Russia or China, where perhaps there wouldn't be as much commonality. Well, we may vote differently in the Human Rights Council or in the United Nations General Assembly and Security Council, but I think there's a definite interest in uh, exchanging uh, notes and information and trying to coordinate. Uh, for one, uh, we are all countries that favor diplomatic solutions to challenges such as Syria's, and we are very wary of uh, jumping into military adventures inadvertently.